Network security is one of the most important steps to be initiated in the production environment. It takes care of authentication, authorization, and accounting. We will learn about various network security concepts in the coming slides. Let's begin the discussion with ACL Access Control List. ACLs are the network filters utilized by routers and some switches to permit and restrict data flows into and out of network interfaces. A network filter refers to the ability of monitoring the data flow of a system. When an ACL is configured on an interface, the network device analyzes the data which is passing through the interface, compares it to the criteria described in the ACL, and either permits the data to flow or prohibits it. ACLs are used for many reasons. The primary reason is to provide a basic level of security for the network. ACLs are not as complex and in-depth in providing protection, but they do provide protection on higher speed interfaces, where the line rate speed is important and the firewalls are restrictive. In addition, ACLs are also used to restrict updates for routing from network peers and they can be instrumental in defining flow control for network traffic. Further, ACLs for routers are not as complex or robust, but they do offer a significant amount of firewall capability. As an IT network or security professional, placement of the defenses is critical to protect the network, its assets, and the data. ACLs should be placed on external routers to filter traffic against less desirable networks and known vulnerable protocols. One of the most common methods in this case is to set up a DMZ or demilitarized zone in the network. This architecture is normally implemented with two separate network devices. In the next slide, we will discuss in detail about DMZ.